What do you think of Erin O'Toole's rebuttal to the vaccine passport by saying that Canadians should be able to get on their buses, planes and trains, but only if they show a, a negative a negative test for the COVID. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Get on a train and have a test, a, a quick test and get on there? I mean, isn't that just as draconian? It is. It, it is because, you know, the cost of these tests are, are, are there. You know, it's about $250, uh, $250 for a test. So you will need to do a test every time that you want to travel. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, it, it's irrelevant now if you are vaccinated or, or not vaccinated, it is irrelevant because everybody will have to show their papers. The vaccinated ones will have to show their vaccine passport. And by the way, the expiration date of the vaccine passport is, uh, is uh, it will be the next, uh, next December because if you have only two shots, your vaccine, uh, your, your vaccine passport will expire because they will ask you to have the third shots. So there's an expiration date. Every time you'll have to come back and have a new vaccine passport because you'll have to have a new shots, another shots. Justin Trudeau bought for $60 million uh, the booster shots until 2024. So your vaccine passport will be good, but only for a short time. Or sh short time. And, and so the people who decided not to have the vaccine will have to show papers also, like you just said, maybe a negative COVID test before taking the plane, before taking the train, before taking a bus. Uh, everybody will have to show their papers. And that's why I said, I don't want a show me your papers society. We are in a free society. I will show my passport when I'm traveling uh, and I'm crossing the border to come back in Canada, to go in another country. But I don't want to show any papers when I'm traveling across this country. I have the constitutional rights to travel without showing anybody. And actually, my personal health information must be private and personal. Now, you know, everybody will know with your vaccine passport some of your uh, private information. Uh, it is not in line with our, uh, with, with our democracy. And that's why I believe that more and more people will be on our side. Erin O'Toole and the Conservative Party have put out policy platforms recently, just to go into another area here, where they are extreme, well, in, this is my personal opinion, they're extreme left-wing views, for example, forcing some corporations to put workers on their board of directors, paying for new hires for the first six months, 25% of their salary. Um, your, your thoughts on this extreme leftist policies of the uh, Conservative Party of Canada. But that's why I said, you know, this party is not conservative anymore. This party is conservative only uh, by name. Uh, old tool is a leftist, and that's another example. Actually, if you, um, you know, if you want to impose what a private corporation must do and and, and you want to give subsidies to uh, people that will start a new job. So what about all these people that are paying tax right now? You are telling them, yes, pay taxes and we'll give your money to another person. Uh, we don't want that. We don't have the money for that first. And second, you know, a private corporation must be able to decide who's going to be on, on, on their board. Uh, that's not the government. That's socialism, uh, that's uh, leftist, and that's in line with uh, woke uh, culture. And uh, that's why O'Toole and Trudeau are the same on a lot of issues. And uh, on that one, they believe in, uh, in socialism and, and more government intervention in your day-to-day -day life. We believe in, in less government. We have faith in people. We believe that people know better than me uh, as a politician or, or bureaucrat in Ottawa what to do with their life. But with O'Toole, it would be more bureaucracy, more civil servants, more regulations, more taxes like Trudeau. Now, uh, finally, because I know there's a lot of people here who want to speak to you, um, the Afghan uh, situation, they've left 2,000 either Canadians or Afghan allies in Kabul with no way to get out by the Canadian government. We've had uh, a minister of the Canadian government uh, talk about the Taliban as her brothers. Y your response? It's, it's irresponsible. It is, uh, you know, we fought them. Uh, they don't share our same uh, values, you know. Every culture are not the same, you know, and the Western civilization culture is very different than the Taliban's one. And sorry, they're not our brothers. They don't say, uh, you know, everybody must be equal before the law. Men and women are equal. 
but in their society it is not that. So it's a shame that uh, we still have people that help us that are in Afghanistan that share Canadian values and help Canadian forces and they cannot come to our country. But Trudeau is opening the doors for 20,000 of them that we don't know. We, why, you know, opening our doors to 20,000 uh, people coming from Afghanistan? We, we, we maybe only 2,000 of them help us and, and, and share our values. So uh, it's always, you know, open borders, open borders, open borders. Uh, we need to help people that help us first. Thank you very much, Maxime, and bonne chance. Merci, merci beaucoup. Thank you.